Hello dear friends and welcome to another electronics tutorial. Because the following projects are going to include different integrated circuits, I thought it right to create a short tutorial how to import a component into LTSpice. And uh, for this tutorial, I have chosen a, a very common operational amplifier, the LM741. So let's get started. So first of all, we have to search for the component. So let's go LM741. So this is a simple operational amplifier. We see here that this is produced by different companies. Um, here it's uh, Texas Instruments, but what we are interested is, uh, here is the data sheet for it, but we're interested in the model for this component. So going on this link here, we will see the LM741 data sheet. So this is a single 44 uh, volt, one megahertz operational amplifier. So um, he, it has the, the, the ability to uh, amplify or differential uh, amplify the, the input signal here, and it will scale the signal according to the R2 and R1 resistors. But this will we will discuss more into in detail when we will discuss operational amplifiers as um, integrated circuits. So let us first scroll down and here is the LM741 PSPICE model. Let us download this model. Okay. And after this has been downloaded, uh, we can, uh, what we are interested in is in this library file here. Okay, so I'm going to copy all these and put everything on the desktop in a new folder. So this is LM741 and I'm going to paste everything here. Okay, next step is to open the library file because this is the file containing the model for this component. So then we are going to go into LTSpice, file, open, and we are going to go to desktop where we saved this component and um, go into uh, see all files. And here we see the, the library. So it's quite important to check here all files. If not, uh, there would be nothing shown here. Okay, let us open the 741 in, uh, model. And now we can see here that it's already defined. So it has uh, four pins. So it has a non-inverting input, an inverting input, positive power supply, negative power supply, and an output. Okay, so let's generate this component. So we right click on LM741 here and click on create symbol. So do you wish to automatically create a, sim a symbol that will net list against the subset with LM741 and her five ports? Yes, we do. So this is our LM741. So this is great. What we also need to keep in mind is that uh, we will need to um, rename these na name here. This is the positive power supply and the negative power supply. So we we need to um, remove these labels. So this is, I think, 50 is the output. If we go, no, 28 is the output. 99 is the VCC. So let's go with this. So this is V plus. Okay. 50 is the V minus. So let's put here V minus. And for the 28, it's the V out pin. And here, the pin number one is the non inverting input. So it's the so pin number one is the non inverting input so we are going to write just the plus sign here 
and pin number two is the inverting input so it's the minus sign okay so let's place everything uh, together we start from um, from LT spice it already creates this uh, rectangular form let us actually make it look like a operational amplifier so first of all we have to delete this rectangular here and let's move a bit the pins so let's put the V plus here the V minus here okay and now if we look from here we have one two and the v out we can move it a bit to the right okay next step is to draw the the um, uh, oh the v out has to be here uh, this is the output okay and now let's draw a uh, operational amplifier so let let's go take a line so draw a line from the output here place it let's say here let's zoom in a bit that we can hit it exactly on the mark okay then place it here at the middle of the component and then let us go down place it here and then on the output great to cancel this just right click this and it will cancel the draw line and now we have to connect the v plus to this line here okay and then the v minus to this line here we'll draw a line from v minus to this line great so now we have created the model, we have created the component. Let us save everything and um, import this component into our design. So let's go file new schematic, go on the components, and then we are going to add here a LM741. We already have it in the, in the library. Okay, and then of course it, the the component we could have created it um, a bit bigger and also the the v v sign we could put on the right side so we can we can also change this so put it on the left side here left side here click save and then when we go back into the drawing you know they have aut automatically updated this if this is, hasn't automatically updated you can delete the component and place another component so this is great and interesting but what we need to do is let uh, let us see if this component is actually amplifying a signal so let's take a power supply it's because it's an operational amplifier it should be uh, amplifying um, a signal so let let us place a uh, a power supply so i'm going to make a differential uh, input here so i'm going to place one power supply here another power supply here this is going to be a 10 volts power supply and uh, let's put a 50 uh, 50 milliohm resistance and here this is going to be also this is going to be a minus 10 volts and a DC resistance of 0 0.05 uh, ohms which is 50 milliohms uh, resistance then let us connect these two power supplies together maybe it would be easier if i just don't put a minus 10 power supply and we go with a regular 10 volt power supply let me just tailor this just to simplify a bit the um, the, the the functionality of a differential power supply so let's take the power supply place it here the ground place it here i will delete this here let's take the second power supply and move it over here so 
the differential power supply w works for um, works by having two power supplies. One has the positive ed, uh, and connected to the supply lines, and the other one has the, um, the negative end. So here you would see, so here it's 10 volts, and on this pin here, you will see if you measure with a with a um, uh, multimeter, you see minus 10 volts because the, the voltage is is on the other side; it's reversed. So let us then connect this circuit here, okay? And the positive end here. Great. Now all we have to do is to create the feedback. A loop for this component. So let let us take a resistor and another resistor. Uh, these two are um, going to create the feedback loop. Let us rotate this component here and um, let's um, let's go with the uh, times two. So we put one volt on the input and we double. The, the, the amplitude of the signal. So let us place here a 10, um, uh, um, 20 kilo ohm. And the other one, we place a 10 kilo ohm resistance. And let's place this component here. And now we're just connecting the uh, terminals and creating the feedback loop. We want to create, so for this example, I will just create a simple, um, a, a simple uh, yeah, uh, signal doubler. So we're going to double a sine input signal. So here we are going to go with a sine signal. Um, let's say we have a 2.5 volt uh, sine wave at 10 kilohertz. We want to see how this sine wave is amplified through this operational amplifier. So let's also add the ground line and the uh, connections for the, um, for the um, uh, signal generator. Great. So let's see if this simulation works. Let us click on the run button here. Set a stop time, let's say a 10 millisecond. Uh, okay, and before we start the simulation, one last thing I would like to do is uh, maybe reduce a bit the amplitude for the sine wave here. So let's put it at one volt and click OK. Great, let us then run the simulation. So the operational amplifier should amplify the signal by 1 plus R1 over R2. So this would be three times the input signal. If we put a 1 volt input signal, we should see a 3 volt output signal. So let's see how this looks. So let us run this. Okay. And let us look on the input first. So this is the beautiful one volt plus minus one volt input signal. And let us look at the output, which is a uh, three volts, precisely three volts um, signal output. And you can see the phase. Oh, let's zoom fit because I, I zoomed a bit on a, on a different area. So you can see the beautiful zero crossing here for the operational amplifier, and it is amplifying an, a, a signal here. So this is quite fun to, to work around with. Um, if you want to modify here the value, so you want to get, you, we've amplified it three times, let's do a, 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 a circuit that will amplify it five times. Let's say it's quite simple. We go to the resistor here, we put 50 kilo, and then we should go to five volts and back down. So let us run this and we are going here to, um, it's uh, times six, yeah, it's six volts plus minus six volts because it is one plus R1 
over R2. But more about the operational amplifier and the amplification for it uh, when we are getting into the integrated circuits and the instrumentational amplifier uh, topics. Hope you liked this short tutorial. It is very important that you know how to import components because electronic components are always changing. There are going to be multiple uh, integrated circuits that we're going to use that the library from um, LTSpice does not include. So it is quite useful to uh, be able to have, um, the, have the capability of adding components. That being said, wish everybody a great day uh, and let's keep in touch. Please comment if you want me to go through certain designs or um, uh, electronics problems and wish everybody a great day. Thank you.